next few months, the moon might look a little bigger and brighter. Starting in October, there will be three back-to-back -back supermoons. Storm Tracker meteorologist Peyton Counts tells us what a supermoon is and when you can view it. St. Joseph, over the next few months, you'll want to keep your eyes on the night sky as the moon will put on a show. Starting in October, the full moons will potentially look a little bigger and a little brighter. On October 7th, November 5th, and December 4th, we'll see supermoons, with November 5th being the closest supermoon of the year. A supermoon happens when a full moon lines up with the moon's closest point to Earth. That can make it appear up to 14% larger and about 30% brighter than when the moon is farthest away, which is called a micromoon. While the size difference of a supermoon might not be too different, the brightness will be noticeable. Supermoons typically occur three to four times a year, often in a row. After November 5th, the closest supermoon won't happen again until December 24th, 2026. Supermoons also can affect Earth. King tides are extremely high tides that occur when the moon is at its closest point to Earth. Its extra gravitational pull pushes ocean levels even higher along the coast. So as the spooky season arrives, have no fear if the moon seems a little brighter. It just means it's a little closer to planet Earth. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Peyton Counts.